Innovators is brought to you by the Jamaica Yellow Pages, Heart Trust NTA, the Jamaica Observer, and Future Services International. Meet the innovators, Yannick Page and Gary Matalin. Over the next several weeks, they'll be helping aspiring and struggling entrepreneurs to make more money. Yannick Page is widely regarded as one of Jamaica's most promising young entrepreneurs. She's a certified business trainer, and she is now the owner of the award-winning company Future Services International. Gary Metalin is the co-founder and director of New Stone Limited. This successful entrepreneur is also the co-founder of KLE Group, owners and operators of Fiction Lounge and Usain Bolt's Tracks and Records. Gary, who do we have today? What's happening? All right, today we're looking at Dorit Eubanks. She designs and manufactures sandals, mm -hmm. and um, she has some really interesting stuff. Let's take a closer look. My name is Dorit Eubanks, Managing Director of Dean Accept Sandals and Accessories. We are a sandals manufacturer. So we've started doing sandals, but we're gonna also be doing handbags, belts, and dog collars. I've been involved in the manufacturing of sandals for about two years now. We've been really focusing the first year and a half on product development, looking at new ways to make a better product before we really came out to the public in full force. Two years ago, I was laid off from my position as Vice President for Human Resources, where I've worked for 17 years. Um, I laid off about 2,000 people and one day it was my turn. I spent a lot of my time after that trying to figure out what it is to do. So I, I first started to set up a real estate or a um, human resources type agency, but that wasn't God's plan. I went to market in Ocho Rios one day and I saw somebody making shoes. I guess that night I went to bed to make a long story. I kept dreaming about shoes for the next two weeks. Every night I went to sleep, there was the stream with the shoes, and I had to really take some action on it because it just wouldn't go away. So that launched me into the development of shoes. Some of the challenges we're facing currently is really obtaining material, getting the material we need. I'm very lucky that I, I do get a lot of help from my family, but there, there are some other things that we need, some other equipment that would make it a little bit easier for us that we could work faster. And also some help with marketing and basically look like website development, those kind of things we, would really help us to grow a little bit. Those are the challenges we face, because for the time being, I'm doing everything myself. Okay, let's meet Dorit. I'm very excited to meet with the innovators today. I believe the information I will learn today will help me to make my company run better and give me ideas on how to go forward to make it a stronger organization. I think the innovators' help will just push my company to the next level. Hi, Dorit. Hi, welcome. how are you? Thank you for having me. Hi, Dorit. Welcome. Okay, Dorit, you know, um, I love your shoes. I love, I love the whole concept. I'm big on manufacturing. Um, it's certainly an area that we really want to focus more on in Jamaica. What inspires your designs and um, I'd love to know the price point that these shoes are coming out at. I started out two years ago just on a dream that I had. Our styles are basically very simple. Some of them you've probably seen before. We've just reinvented them a little. Some of our designs are new. We kind of look at nature, we look at see what's around, we look at the trend to see what's going on. We look at fashion shows to see what are people going to be wearing the next season, what colors they like. So we take all those things into consideration as we design our sandals. Are these original designs, are these your original designs? I would say 90% of it are our designs, are our original designs. But some of our designs are designs that you probably see on the street that we've just probably tweaked. We tweaked a little bit, make them a little more elegant, a little more classy. Yeah, because the, the concern I have, I'll tell you, is that it looks a lot like a design I know. Yeah. So you don't want people to accuse you of copying somebody else's design. All right, tell me, tell me a bit about your business model. Like from the, you know, who, who is your market? Who are you targeting? Uh, who are you currently selling to? What are the channels that you're using to, to get to your market? Our target market is probably the 
person from about 17 years old to 65. Great stuff. Your target market can be so wide, 17 to 65. How are you getting the, the, the sandals to those folks? We use the Facebook social media. We, lose, we have um, people who are working for us um, on a part-time basis who are basically carrying, saying they'll sell them for us. We pay them, we sell them to them at a wholesale price. We are in two stores, one in Kingston, one in Ochoa. My motivation has come from within. I've always been this kind of a person. I'm a get up and I'm a go getter. So I'm never going to just sit around and wait for the sun to set. I'm going to go out and try and catch it halfway. Do you have a large following on Facebook now? You have no, no, we don't have a large following. We're just developing the product. So I don't have a large following. But it's, it's getting, there's more people interested now than before, so it, it is growing. We would like to see our product to be on as many feet as possible, that the product will begin to speak for itself. We will purchase the product, be happy with the product, and it will just spread the word about the product, and it will be, people will, will get to know it and be comfortable with it and can, and can refer other clients to us. We want to be more, in, to be involved in more exporting of our product, and also to be involved in some training for our staff that we can continue to make our line better. So if I want to place an order for these sandals, which are fabulous, um, I go on Facebook, place an order. You can go on Facebook, you contact us, and we contact you. What's the cost? Where the cost for the one in your hand would be 6,500. Okay, so your, your, your average price per, per pair is somewhere around? Uh, about, say, 6,000 would be the average price. 6,300, I'd say, at maximum. Coming up on The Innovators. Who does the marketing? Who does the sales? I do. And to a certain extent, you're doing some of the designing and the manufacturing. Yes, I do that too. Yeah. And I do the sourcing for the material. Very risky. Oh, I love a million things. I love touching leather. I love going to the leather wholesale and just spending hours in the store looking at leather. I love looking at fabric. I love looking at admiring people's feet to see what shoes they're wearing. I love working with a shoe master. And we all sit in the room here and we just develop ideas and tear them apart and put them back together. It's just so much fun. Just, it makes the day go fast. You, you, know, you, you start working at six in the morning, you finish at nine at night and it's as if it's nothing because it's just so much fun. Tell me a bit about the production side of the business. You, 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 get, you get orders. It sounds like um, through, the, through the channels that you're using, you're going to get a lot of one-one orders from right. individuals that want a, a, a pair of sandals. Um, but suppose, let's, let's say for example, I have a, a retail outlet and I would like to place a, a order for a number of sandals. In other words, if I say I want 2,000 sandals by next week Monday, would you be able to fill that? No, order? I would not be able to fill it by next week Monday, 2,000 pairs, because they're all handcrafted. It takes time to put all the pieces together. What we've done, we, we pre-make some of the straps. We make the straps in advance, we make the sole in advance. So basically, if you call and you need a large order, we give you a reasonable time frame. Because if I tell you we're going to deliver tomorrow, we're going to deliver tomorrow. So I never set false um, expectations. That's important. So give me an idea. What's the, the average time, assuming one sh shoemaker, to, to manufacture one, one pair of sandals? It basically takes them about an hour and a half. How are you funded now? Right now, it's all my personal money. And how do you intend to grow the business? Because you certainly can't use your personal funds. Well, what has been happening in the last few months, we've been able, we've gotten enough orders and deliveries that we, the company, is basically beginning to run itself. Very tight budget, but we're running ourselves. Separate from your online channels, how do you, how do you deal with your local distribution? Um, who, who goes and sells to the, the retail outlets? At this time, I do. Tell me who deals with your legal issues. Um, you obviously must engage a lot of people in terms of reselling your products, so you must have contracts done. Um, you are doing original designs. Uh, who deals with the, with the legal aspects? At this time, I really don't have any legal counsel. I just basically do my own research and basically do everything for myself. Who does the marketing? I do. Who does the sales? I do. And to a certain extent, you're doing some of the designing and the manufacturing. Yes, I do that too. Yeah. And I do the sourcing for the material. Very risky. That's something that has to change. Meeting with the innovators today was very, very interesting. It really gave me an opportunity to really look at my company and to realize the other options that I should be looking at when setting up my company. Some of my operations need some fine-tuning and I really need to work on it. And I think with their help, 
I will be really getting my company on track to be successful. All right, here are the plan. You have a couple of different things going on here, and um, I think we need to we need to look at them individually. First and foremost, I think I think you you need to build your confidence level. Once you have that, you you know it's now just a matter of us finding a strategy to get them out there. And then once we get them out there, we, we, we decide how we um, manage the business beyond that. We also want you to try and exploit Jamaica's 50th anniversary celebration. This is a big year for us. And you are making sandals that are totally Jamaican looking. You have all of the colors. This is authentic, made in Jamaica, and we want to exploit that. There's a huge opportunity for you there, and we want you to look at that as well. In fashion, when you take off, it's usually whoosh, it goes really fast. Um, and there's this explosion and we want to make sure that you're able to meet demand because the worst thing that could happen to you is that you explode, your brand explodes and you can't meet demand, right? So we've given you a lot, we know, but um, I think once you do some of these assignments and you get it right, you're on your path to exactly what you came in here for, to try and make more money and to grow your business um, and to create a global brand, right? Brand Jamaica, fantastic sandals, so good luck. Uh, and we look forward to seeing you back here. Armed with all the instructions, it's time to go off on the assignments. Good morning, Dorothy. Good morning, nice My to meet pleasure you. To nice meet to meet you. you also. Great, welcome to Crane Mullings. And Thank remember, you. we're accountants, not dentists. <laughs> <laughs> so this should be a pleasant experience. Mm -hmm. And um, I know you just started your business and yes. I looked at your website and it's fantastic. Thank you so and much. And I think you're going places and you've made the right decision to get involved with an accountant. Because the truth is, if you're going to run a successful business, um, you need an accountant um, by your side at all times. Yes. I, I'm sure you've heard of one Usain Bolt, right? Yes. And, and you know, uh, Usain has a world record and one of the things that Usain always has at his side is his coach. And so you should look at your accountant exactly the same way. Okay. Now, one of the first things that um, we always recommend that you do, Dorothy, is to prepare a business plan, all right? Because if you don't have a plan, it means you don't know where you're going. And they always say if you don't know where you're going, you can't get there anywhere at all. <laughs> All right. So the first thing is to do a business plan and you set out your goals and your vision and you embody your passion for your business. All right. So we've done the business plan, Dorit. Mm -hmm. The next step is to prepare budgets. All right. Mm -hmm. The budget now is more detailed than the business plan, which is the numbers that you plan to sell and the amounts that you plan to spend on a monthly basis. Mm -hmm. All right. So. We start with a big picture, now we're breaking it down a bit. The segments. Right, and this is a real guideline now as to what you do on a daily basis. Company of my size, I know you talked a lot about um, having a system. How do I go about choosing the right system? Okay, that's a great question, Dorit. You know, if you go on the internet, it's a really good place and you will f see references to a lot of uh, accounting software for small businesses. Mm -hmm. I think I can, say generally the best one out there is quickbooks accounting software okay. it's um quite inexpensive uh it's very user friendly you can do it yourself you can get um, a clerical person to assist you with uh, doing it and as I said all of this under the guidance of uh, your accountant. And the QuickBook can also take care of the payroll processes, it can do your whole payroll on that system? Well you know what um, Dorit, QuickBooks is really a foreign program so it is not designed to do the Jamaican payroll but there are many uh, companies out there that provide the services of Jamaican payroll so your accountant again will be able to um, assist you in getting that done. The consultation with Mr. Mullins was really, really an eye-opener. It really made me stop and think. The way I'm doing my, my whole accounting process is, needs to revamp, and I really need to start paying more attention to every step of the way of how I'm doing business to guarantee my success in the future. Still to come on The Innovators. What do you think's kept you from selling on this website? Because I haven't set up the e-commerce.
All right, Jet, I'm really excited because you've got something hot here. Now all you need to do is make sure that we can sell these sandals on the World Wide Web, right, on the internet. Yes. Now you have a website and you've created this website yourself, is that correct? Yes, I Yes. Do. Now, have you sold anything from this website yet? No. No, no. and what's, what do you think's kept you from selling on this website? Because I haven't set up the e-commerce. Okay. Where right. they can actually go in and buy the goods and, and get it delivered to them. Okay, so the e-commerce is not set up yet, but you do have some of the essential things, photos here on this website and um, great photos of the shoes and a little bit of the story about how they're handcrafted leather sandals. Mm -hmm. Now I want to work with you on this website so that we can get this website completely done and the e-commerce set up so people can order from your website. Now do you have the ability to ship these sandals anywhere in the world? Yes we do. Okay so that's great that's taken care of. So what we'll do the first step is work on this website get it up to snuff, make it look really good and have it, have the e-commerce all set in so people from anywhere in the world, from Australia, Africa, Thailand can order on your website and get the shoes delivered. Now the second thing I want to do with you is I want to take you to a website called Etsy.com. Now the reason why this website is good for you is because it features people who make handmade items, right? And because you make handmade items, this website would be really great for you to be part of. Now a website that's already getting millions of visitors that's already in front of people that people already know to come here to look for handmade items is the perfect place for you to be in front of and they've got everything set up so that you don't have to know web design that sort of thing you just upload your pictures set the prices and you can have your own store right here on etsy.com there are other websites that you could be on as well such as ebay.com have you heard of ebay yes i have an ebay account but um, I haven't really used it. If you start to put your sandals on eBay and you know you could sell them not only at a retail price but wholesale, what if you did a video showing people how they're made? Okay. Right? That they're That's handmade. A very good idea. Right. People like to know more about what they're buying and the products that they're buying, and now you're able to personalize it. Okay. So you go back and videotape the guys actually making the sandals mm -hmm. and you know making different designs and how they make the flowers on the sandal to the padding and just show videos of the whole process okay. and now that is your unique selling proposition right mm -hmm. you're unique now in that yes you do have these handmade sandals you can prove that they're handmade because you're mm -hmm. showing them mm -hmm. how they're made and you're bringing buyers into the process Alice is amazing she's truly amazing she has taught me so much about my website how to grow my business, how to keep things moving with my website, open up my website to the world actually. So I'm really, really excited about it and more excited that she's going to fix it for me. So I don't have to stay up at night worrying about it because somebody's going to be worrying about it for me. Welcome to Creative Me and Events. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming. So tell me a little bit about your story, your business. Oh, the next step sandals are handcrafted leather sandals. We use genuine leather. We emphasize a lot on the quality of sandals and making sure that they're comfortable. We design styles that we think will meet the needs of the average person. Okay, well you're at the right place. Um, that's what we do here at Creative Me and Events. We, um, we help to build brands. So tell me, how do you get your products um, sold right now? Through what channels? We are in two stores. One is Kamit Revisited in Little Premier Plaza in Kingston. Mm -hmm. We're in Heal It in Ocho Rios. And we're also in um, Tinsapan Hotel in Negril. In terms of your price points, how are the, the um, sandals priced presently in, um, in comparison to the competition? They are low, I believe. They're lower price. Our price range starts from 3900 mm -hmm. to, for a standard shoe, 8000 So I find that Jamaicans are very much into brands. And so you have to really look at how you're going to position your brand in the market. And um, I believe that at the start of everything, you have to start the story somewhere. And it's very important that you have a launch. Now, the reason why a launch is important is you need to communicate and get the word out. To the mass and so you basically need to speak to everybody now of course there is the media that you need to get there you also need to speak to your stakeholders internal and external your internal stakeholders will be um, persons who you work with so the persons who are selling your shoes from the retail outlets um, your manufacturers um, your staff members also need to play a part in that because they need to feel this passion that you have you need to be able to tell your story so persons out there 
hear about this wonderful product that you have. And then from there, the media will be able to run with it. And of course, you get all the press and you, know, you never know where it goes from there. The meeting with Mr. Davis today was amazing. I gained so much information about the product, how to get my product into the market, and most, most exciting was the opportunity he's given us to launch our product. The next step is over the moon. We don't know if we should dance or sing or what, we want to do a little jig for you, but Mr. Davis will just give you a thank you so much for the opportunity to launch our product. It's now time to return to the boardroom and update the innovators of the progress made. Hi, Dorit, you're Hi. back. Hey, thank you for having me back. Welcome back, Dorit. Thank you all so right. much. I can't wait to hear what you've been up to. Tell us all about it. Oh, it's been so much, so much. I am so excited. I've been to see a PR company. We're working well with them. They're helping us to get the product out there, showing me different tricks of the trade that I can use okay. to get my product online. I've met with the legal counsel, who has given me some good advice on how to proceed with the business. I've also met with an accountant to take off some of the workload off me and to make sure I'm on right track and I'm not violating any laws. I don't know if you noticed, but she's a lot more confident than yeah, when she came in here the first time. <laughs> you look great. Thank you so um, much. You know, and I, I, I'm feeling that, you know, that confidence, you know. Thank you. You know, you are sitting on a gold mine here. Yes, um, you're I'm beginning to feel it. Yes. <laughs> and we, 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 you know, and um, this, is the, this is the kind of inspiration we want you to give to other people to motivate them. Because you've come in two years, what you've been able to do the product that you've created um, exceptional I mean real good quality and we're I'm, I'm very very proud to have met you and to be able to give you any kind of support I don't know a whole lot about the fashion industry but I can tell you Dorit's product is of the best quality I've seen I hold the shoes in my hand and I realize that this is just a well-made product um, the designs look great I think you know once she gets the exposure She's gonna, she's gonna do well. She's gonna do really well. Dorit is in manufacturing, which is huge for Jamaica. It's the kind of industry that we're trying to develop. And what's fantastic is that she makes such high quality products. I think that the sky's the limit for her. She can diversify her business in so many ways. We're talking about handbags, we're talking about accessories. So for Dorit, I think it's just for her to focus get the infrastructure in place for her business to grow um, and certainly focus more on using social media, building that brand, um, doing a lot of marketing and getting the word out there even more about Dorit's. But what's fantastic is that she'll do exceptionally well um, and she'll motivate others. So I, I'm, I am inspired by Dorit's story. This has been a marvelous experience for Dean XF Sanders. We have just benefited so much from the innovators. They have just enhanced our company. Our processes are now much better. We are getting out the word about our standards are now out there. People are so excited about our brand and we are so excited that our business is growing so fast and so quickly. So thanks to the innovators. Gary's wardrobe was provided by Max Brown Limited. Makeup was provided by Hart. College of Beauty Services. The boardroom was provided by Anbell Limited. Anbell, our technology keeps you in contact. For further information on any of our assignments, please visit us at facebook.com slash innovators TV or email us at Innovators TV at gmail.com. The Innovators was brought to you by the Jamaica Yellow Pages, Heart Trust NTA, the Jamaica Observer, and Future Services International. The Innovators is brought to you by the Jamaica Yellow Pages, Heart Trust NTA, the Jamaica Observer and Future Services International.
Meet the innovators Yannick Page and Gary Matalin. Over the next several weeks, they'll be helping aspiring and struggling entrepreneurs to make more money. Yannick Page is widely regarded as one of Jamaica's most promising young entrepreneurs. She's a certified business trainer and she is now the owner of the award-winning company Future Services International. Gary Metalin is the co-founder and director of News Zone Limited. This successful entrepreneur is also the co-founder of KLE Group, owners and operators of Fiction Lounge and Usain Bolt's Tracks and Records. Gary, who do we have today? What's happening? All right, today we're looking at Dorit Eubanks. She designs and manufactures sandals, mm -hmm. and um, she has some really interesting stuff. Let's take a closer look. My name is Dorit Eubanks, Managing Director of Dean Accept Sandals and Accessories. We are a sandals manufacturer. We have started doing sandals, but we're going to also be doing handbags, belts, and dog collars. I've been involved in the manufacturing of sandals for about two years now. We've been really focusing the first year and a half on product development, looking at new ways to make a better product before we really came out to the public in full force. Two years ago, I was laid off from my position as Vice President for Human Resources, where I've worked for 17 years. Um, I laid off about 2,000 people and one day it was my turn. I spent a lot of my time after that trying to figure out what it is to do. 